We are working developing news out of Washington where Republicans are one step closer to repealing and replacing Obamacare. In a major victory for President Trump, the House has voted to dismantle the Affordable Care Act and make sweeping changes to the nation's health care system. And here's how the vote went down. 217 Republicans voted to approve the plan, 20 voted to reject it, along with all 193 Democrats. Protesters waiting outside the Capitol shouted shame on you at House Republicans following the vote. Republicans boarded buses to celebrate their win in the Rose Garden with President Trump. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen joins us live in studio now with the latest on today's vote. Yeah, Shannon, Mike, this is a major victory for Republicans and President Trump today. An 11th hour amendment that helps seal the missing GOP votes allows states to choose to let insurers charge higher rates for people with pre-existing conditions, but only if the states set up high risk pools to help with the costs. The bill also reduces the subsidies for low income Americans and eliminates taxes on the wealthy that pay for them. It encourages young people to buy insurances by offering an age based tax credit for people making less than $75,000 a year. Democrats say Republicans passed the bill without waiting for the independent congressional budget office to assess the impact of the plan. Congressman David Cicilline had some strong words on the floor before the final vote. This is the cruelest and most immoral thing I've seen the Republican Party do to the American people. Tens of thousands of Americans will die if this bill passes. That's a fact. Republicans have been deceiving the American people for the last eight years. They don't care about working people, and this bill proves it. Today was a big day, but it is just one step in this process, an important step. We still have a lot of work to do to get this signed into law. And I know that our friends over in the Senate are eager to get to work. <laughs> they are. Congressman Jim Langevin also responding to today's vote, saying in part, it is unconscionable that House Republicans have forced through a bill in the service of a purely partisan political goal at the expense of their constituents' health. And Senator Sheldon Whitehouse also weighing in, saying in part, this legislation sets us on a path to the bad old days when insurance companies could refuse coverage to those with pre-existing conditions and deny people health benefits that should be in every plan, like maternity and mental health care. The bill now moves on to the Senate. Democrats say they'll stand united against the bill, forcing Republicans to own the health care vote in the next election. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.